What's up, everybody? It's Stephen A. Williams, president and founder of Blue Book MKE, and let's level up your business five-day challenge. And in today's video, we're going to talk about segmenting events in your life. And this is very important because one of the things that I find people have problems with is that they end up paralyzing themselves when they're trying to move forward. And it's because of other events that happen in their life. Let me give you a quick example of one. Have you ever uh, taken problems that you had at home to work? Maybe you didn't you know, talk to anyone about it, or maybe you did, but your attitude. So if something happened at home, kid, spouse, something, neighbor, whatever, and then you took, you went to work and you had that, maybe people said there's something wrong, like you had that attitude or you talked to someone about it and it was like, you know, you, you're trying to get it off your chest, to, you know, just expressing it. Or maybe vice versa, where you had some stuff going at work and then you take that stuff home. And you Now, that's something that probably most of you that are watching this video is familiar with. But something that you need to be aware of is that that is not just taking something home or uh, that it, 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 that's an expression of what you're going through and that whenever you do that, you make connections. So the, let's, from that example, you are relating what you went through at home and you're taking that to work. That becomes a connection. And subconsciously, you could be changing the feelings about your attitude at work when you don't even consciously know that you're doing it. That's why people will come up to you and say, is something wrong? Because it's written all over your face. It's your, the way that you're walking around. It's your attitude. And then when you go home, you have that same thing. Did you know that this is things like this can also affect you making uh, your business successful? is that you will take things that are going on at home, take take things that are going on, maybe you're working a job and then you have a side business, is that you will kind of attach all of those things together. And let me show you why that's a problem. So say this is your business. This is your business and this is home. This is This is home. What you need to do is you need to practice segmenting off and fully understanding that what goes on here really doesn't have anything to go on with your business. Or even if we just put work here, that none of these have anything to do with each other. But we have tendencies as humans to where if, like, if we don't feel good, it just kind of maps over to everything else. But let me tell you why that's dangerous is because it paralyzes you. Because if, you constant, if, you, if you're constantly thinking about what happened at work and you're trying to, I mean, what happened at home and then you take that to work or what happened at home and you take that to your business, what it does is it paralyzes you from being able to move forward in your business. So let me give you some examples of how this works in business. And this stuff will really transform your business because let's just say here's your business and you have these things going on with your business. So we have uh, advertising, we have sales. Well, what I'll do is I'll put, I'll do them in their order. I'll do them in their order. So we have uh, leads and we have sales. One of the biggest uh, uh, problems that I see happen with business, and it, this was even before the internet came around, I, I would see this with, with uh, mom and pop businesses when I would uh, used to go to the stores back when I was uh, you know going out there as a sales rep. I would see where they were having issues with something with these three in their business. And what it would do is it would paralyze them. They would paralyze themselves from moving forward. So let's look at this here. Let's say that you're having an issue with, if you're having an issue with advertising and leads, you're definitely having an issue with your sales. Like it's going to be 
you know, that's going to be one of those things where you're going to have to kind of focus on all three. But even if you're having problems, let's just say, let's just put it out there like, hey, you're having problems with all three. Let me tell you how you can manage your way through these. The first thing that you need to do is these are just obstacles. You need to think that in your mind that these are just obstacles and you need to break them down. And that's why I said you need to segment. Segment means you need to look at that specific issue and say, what can we fix with our advertising? What can we fix? And also, just so you understand, when you do this, when you start to segment, you will see that your creative ability will start to come to the top rather than your worries. So you're going to be more focused on, okay, how can we fix this advertisement? How can we fix the issue that we're having? And really, the only issue that you will be having with your advertising is that when you're advertising, you're not generating any leads. So how can we get more creative to make ads more creative to generate more leads? That's what segmentation would be. So if you're having this issue to segment yourself, to divide away from what's going on, you could be having some stuff going on at home, whatever, you still have to learn how to segment and focus on what needs to get done. So we're going to segment on our advertising. How can we fix it? We're going to use our creativity. So rather than focusing on this is what's going wrong, rather than focus on, focusing on I'm afraid to try something new, don't focus on that. You focus on creativity and you try new things. Some of them are going to fail. Some of them are going to be so-so, but you're going to have a big winner in that. This is exactly what I do all the time. So you focus on fixing advertising. And then if your advertising is working, you're getting leads. So that would automatically fix your lead problem because we know that we can't have any sales if we don't have people to talk to. So if you fix your advertising problem, you're generating leads, and this is a creative uh, process, then we say, okay, we're not making sales. So now we start looking at why are we not making sales or why are we not making as many sales as we think that we should be making, and then you need to fix that. But this seems similar, to, I mean, uh, simple the way I uh, wrote it out. You're like, okay, this is what I always do. Maybe you're already, always thinking that you're doing that. But if you're not having success, see, always uh, 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 evaluate yourself for the result. See, a lot of people will say, I'm doing things. Well, what is your result from doing those things? If you're having problems making sales with your business, how many leads are you bringing in? Or how many people are you talking to on a daily basis? How many people are visiting your store? How many people are calling? That's where you need to, to, to break down and, and segment. And that comes from your advertisement. So even though this sounds simple and you're like, okay, well, I'm doing all of this stuff. Well, the next thing that you need to do is grade yourself how are, what, how are your results or the results bearing out? Because there's been times that I've done this and I'm like, I'm doing that. I'm working on all of this stuff here. But when I think about it, I was not really focused on fixing it. I was kind of drifting between the issue that we were having and trying to fix it. So what I started doing is saying, okay, put aside the problem so I can be more focused and more creative on fixing those problems. And so if you're running a business, segment all of your problems that you have at home. That's one compartment and that has nothing to do with your business, even though it may give you feelings about, you know, hey, I don't feel right or I'm not, you know, I'm just worried about what's going on. You still, no matter what you do, no matter what's going on on that side or what's going on with your business or what's going on with your job, you still have to do the thing that you have to do. So you might as well give it your all while you're doing that thing. So then when you're 
going back to work on the other things that are some problems in your life, you will be able to give that 100% attention. And that's the way that I move forward in my life. No, it's not always perfect, but what you got to do is you got to just keep practicing so you can do that, do this type of thing a lot more. So you can, in a way, you need to be on automatic because what I find that when you're on automatic is that automatically you're going to be creative. So if you have problems with your advertising, rather than worrying about uh, your advert, what you're going to do with your advertising, you're going to be creative ideas are going to come to your mind. You're going to be like, oh, let's try that. Let's try that. Did, what type of results did we get from it? Okay, that, that seemed to work. So let's continue to keep working on that process rather than getting bogged down in what I consider being paralyzed with your business. So I hope that this was some uh, good information for you. I want to, you know, put if you can put it to use in your business, post your uh, questions and comments below this video. Uh, I have links below if you want to look at some of the different uh, opportunities that I have for getting, you know, free training. Uh, link is below this video. My five-day uh, uh, five challenge program is link is below this uh, video or above this video. Thank you for your time. This is Stephen A. Williams, president and founder of Blue Book MKE, and let's level up.